Hey class, so today we are going to do an activity. Uh, however, before I start, uh, let me show my screen first. And now, uh, this will be our uh, activity today. So in our daily activity, uh, we have uh, people that uh, always help us and also uh, like uh in doing uh the lesson with uh your classmates you also have a person that is uh one that is your best friend right so to show your gratitude uh toward them what would you say to them is anyone can give example What would you say to thank uh, your friend for uh, being your good uh, classmate like that? Anyone can give example? Uh, for me, ma'am. Uh, yes. <clears throat> for me, I will return the favor like help them if they need uh, if they need help or they have a heart in something <clears throat> okay uh, that's very good uh, so uh, in order to uh, facilitate you to show your gratitude and thank to your friend uh, this is what we are going this is what we are going to do today so we are going to make an appreciation letter uh, this activity will able to motivate you and your friends about uh, to be more uh, kind and also be good to others. So uh, the first thing that we will do is to write a letter of appreciation to your friend, uh, which the letter have to include uh, the words of appreciation. Uh, as for example, is a uh, great job. I like your idea or you can uh, retell uh, things that you like about them or another example of or code that you can search on Google and after that after you write the words of appreciation quotes or uh, explanation that I have said before you can send the letter to your friend and after receiving the letter you uh, you should also remember to thank them for being uh, your friend to help uh, that help you uh, every day when doing uh, the lesson can anyone get the idea is it clear so yes. we need to write uh, small words of appreciation to our friend in our paper, correct me? Uh, yes, Arif, that's correct. Okay, so uh, in order to uh, uh, to make you get, uh, to make sure that everyone get the letter, I will decide it, uh, that Arif Suwardi is going to send the letter for Jagat and Arif Parlaman is going to send the letter to Lestari. And that goes uh, the same way too. For uh, Jagat will send the letter to Arif Suwardi and Lestari will send the, her letter to Arif Parlaman. Is that uh, everything's clear for now? Okay, so we can start uh, writing the letter uh, right now. You can also ask me if there is anything that uh, that is not clear for you, okay? Good luck, guys. Okay, class. We will do an interesting activity today. Uh, let me show you the activities first. Uh, I'm sorry, Joss. Uh, I need... I need uh, permission to screen sharing. Uh, it's okay for now, sir. You can do it now. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, 
okay we will do a crossword puzzle uh, in this activity you will wait a minute in this activity you will you require uh, answer several question that <coughs> That, that the answer already present here. And number one question is, what the heaviest thing in the world? Anyone can answer? Have anyone ever heard of this question? No, anyone have no idea? Okay, let me show okay. you the answer. It is trust, because holding the trust is a heaviest thing to do for human and I have uh what about a trust trust is the highest form of humanity motivation it brings out the very best in people but it takes time and patience anyone understand of these quotes all right let us move to the second question. What is the name of a person who annoy you? Uh, please think it carefully. Are you ready? Can you answer it? <coughs> Let me give no, no, you sir, a clue. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Anyone can have an idea? It's a nigger. A nigger from the dictionary is about someone who annoys people by constantly finding fault. And the synonym is nice, colors, and neck. The usage you can see is in the right side. Okay, if anyone understand? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now we will move to the number three. Do you choose the cross first or down? Maybe a crosser. Okay, let us see what is in the question. Oh, what is the most distant thing from us in this world? Do you know what? What is the answer? Okay. Anyone know knowing the Alice? Let's study. Okay, let me show you. No, the sir, I don't know. Anyone got an idea? What is the second, what, 
second letter and the last letter. Is it pass? Yes, you are right. It is pass. The bus is uh, further from us because we cannot uh, put on the pass uh, as long as we live for now. The question what pass is the pass is your lesson. The present, the present, the present is your gift. The future is your motivation. Basic singular. Anyone understand? Yes, sir. I see someone not. Okay. Let us move to the next question. The number three of John Ward. <clears throat> refers, refers chicken goes to curtain. What is the meaning of this word or is it an object? <clears throat> are you is it pineapple? Oh, yes, you are right. Great, Lestari. How do you know if it's pineapple? Uh, I think uh, this is from common words from Japanese uh, uh, that I used <laughs> to learn back then. Oh, nice explanation. Yes. The reason why it is called a chicken in the garden because the 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 leaf of of pineapple is looks like the tail of chicken. Yeah, it's like that. It to be like that. Okay, and then number four. The, the question is. What has a head, a tail, but doesn't have a body? It for for letter and end with N. May I, sir? Yes, Arif. I think the answer is coin. Oh yes. You really understand the question before it. Great. Uh, yes, because uh, how people, uh, what is it, call the uh, parts of a coin with the face forward is the head and the uh, back of it with the numbers or something or the tail. Yes. Yes, the example is head and tail. The tail is usually uh, include any symbol of the country, like in Indonesian is uh, Garuda, Pancasila. And then the head in American coin, it's literally have in this coin, but Indonesia is just the nominal of the coin and then number we move to the number five and the last what is that goes up but it never comes down anyone have an idea It is three letter and end with E. It is but life. 
every person uh, have this have this sub object. Is it eight, sir? Yes, Alice. You answer it for right. Uh, the reason of your answer? Uh, when you are saying that it is a thing from our life, uh, I think that uh, we, in birthday, we always uh, get our age older, but uh, it never go uh, younger. Nice analogies, Aris. Uh, and then I will show you uh, what is about age I'm sorry it's an extraordinary process where you become the person you always so have been uh, the increase of our age we we need to achieve what we we like to do but in the process, we also need to work hard to achieve something that we that we desire. Uh, it is the quote is from David Bowie, the the well known singer of yeah. Uh, I think solo singer. I don't know <laughs> about him. Uh, I think that's all. For the question about the puzzle, thank you for participating in this activity. Now we will move on to the to the materials, and I'll stop share screen. Thank you. All right, everyone. Uh... Seems like we're a bit of a tail today, aren't we? I mean, I can see all your almost tired faces. <laughs> right. I think um, let us uh, rest a bit about the uh, material for a bit. And I want to tell you a story. I want to talk about a person that changed the world. Might not be uh, the one that you expect. It might not be the um, person that you expect, but it's the work of this person is very familiar to uh, all of you, and his legacy is also uh, brings change to the world. Uh, hold on. Now, does anyone, does any of you uh, know about this person, this this picture? I think I believe that some of you might uh, f uh, feel familiar with this face. Perhaps not. I'm not quite <laughs> familiar, no, sir. No, sir. Are you sure? I think you know this. I think. I think. Right. In case you didn't know, this person is the founder of this. Walt Disney. He himself is Walt Disney. He, the founders, is the uh, the maestro of animated pictures. The uh, the first person who got the idea of doing animations uh, for a movie in theater, from short uh, animations until full length uh, movie animation that you've already familiar with, and even beyond the anime. Uh, uh into the scope of three dimensional based from his legacy okay this person Walt Disney um over his father his father was a carpentist and uh, having a father that are always strict and always full of discipline he uh, always has the uh, sort of this uh, sort of this uh, traits that came from his father 
as a carpentist and as a man of detail, if I would like to say. And Walt Disney, having been, uh, been uh, very rough in his life, uh, has, uh, has an interest in drawing pictures. In uh, you know, scratching uh, books, writing sketches, and during his schools, in back in around 1910, during the first war uh, era before the first world war, it's very far back, uh, everyone. And yeah, he continued uh, pursuing his um, uh, career in uh, in art school, but however, uh, it, it was. At the time uh, World War One was uh, started, he uh, what is it? He joined uh, as a volunteer in French, I believe, is as a medic, as an ambulance or um, medical assistance or over there. Or still, his a desire to make an, uh, drawings that could. Uh, Received the others that were gaining attraction to others still inside of him because back then he was trying to be a cartoonist for a, for a newspaper you know because back then newspaper was all the rage uh, people uh, read information from that newspaper and then there's a small rubik rubik's which has drawings in it uh, showing uh, funny images of funny um, Stories, a little strips of panel. He was going to be a, a cartoonist back then. However, um, after the World War One, he was in an advertisement com advertisement company, in which he um, met a person named Oak Iris, if I if I uh, if I believe, and. With him, with this, uh, with this person, that will be uh, very dearly for him, for his uh, career in the future. He make an experiment with some sketches and a lucky rabbit. Here I show you two pictures: New Man Lavagrams by Walt Disney and Oz Rabbit. This is first um, experiment with animation. His first uh, experiments with animation, which he uses camera, a second bought camera, like a second hand camera, I mean, and then use it to record him drawing sketches, and the film of the uh, of the fi of the film of those uh, animated sketches will be used uh, to show it in a the theater, which called, which called the New Man Lavagrams by Walt Disney, and. Also, he made a short animation starring the character Oswald the Rabbit, which as you can see, share the same similarity to what we know today as Mickey Mouse, right? Almost. However, the sad thing is that at his um, company with Opirisk was in a sort of bankruptcy. A bankruptcy because of his inexperience in the uh, business, which uh, this uh, advertisement business, which led him to almost a downfall. Fall, and be because of this bankruptcy, he he and his fellow friends of animation animators didn't have anything to start with making a new animation, new films, and all sorts. However, I think all is not lost. Once he moved from Kansas City, which is the place where he made these two uh, animations, to Hollywood to make something new, he then uh, asked his uh, uh, friends of Irisk and other animators to help his assistants to make something that will change the world uh, forever. This is their first uh, commercial success. The Steamboat really the first animations with sounds, first ever animations that are provided with sounds and it was a technolo technological marvel but in 1920, 20s or perhaps 30s, around those years, he was the one of the in invention. His experiments lead to him some incredible invasion, uh, sorry, <laughs> 
invention, I mean, that will change uh, how people perceive um, new things. Uh, I mean, sorry, how people would um, realize that images, uh, drawings of images can be, uh, can move, has motions. And that is what we call animation because sequence of drawings that can move. And with this, their first ever commercial success lead them to uh, another new um, scope of uh, filmmaking. Because since he was seen in Hollywood, and you know, back in 1920s, back in 1930s, Hollywood movies uh, with using real life actors were all the rage as well. People watch movies using these live life actors, but not with Walt Disney. His company made a movie from those animation. His first theatrical success, Snow White and the, uh, and the Seven Dwarfs. Perhaps you are already familiar. Perhaps you already uh, watched the movie. And this was this was around 1930s or 40s. If I believe it was back before World War II, or perhaps after World War II. I'm quite <laughs> sorry, everyone. But this um, having lots of budget, having a uh, Lots of stresses, lots of deadlines, lots of, of anything that is very unpleasant, both for Walt Disney and for everyone, however. It doesn't make him give up. It doesn't um, carry towards his dreams of making people happy because his motivation to make this um, animations are to make people happy, to entertain them. Because you see in the movie itself, uh, this is adapted from uh, fol uh, fairy tales, and back then people started to like this sort of uh, movie uh, that tells uh, about fairy tales and like folklores, and then turn it into uh, movies that can attract small childrens and t uh, teens and perhaps uh, adults well. You know, it caters towards every sort of demographics. Um, as you can see, uh, small children, uh, teens, and adults all like this movie. And it was very nostalgic, nostalgic for them if, if you talk about about your perhaps your parents today. <laughs> and his first theatrical success was great. He and his team made lots of others movie, like that uh, huge... Uh, um, animal, uh, elephant animal, and as well as other um, adaptations of uh, folklores and all sorts. And after those success in the movie, in 1970s or in 1960s, his next his next big thing was to build an amusement park. He made an amusement park, referencing all of his creations from, from movies and especially his mascot uh, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck as well as a Goofy and other um, characters that you are familiar with he put it all in here in the part that again his goal was to make everyone happy all around the world and thus he creates the most expensive uh, amusement park in America that is also part of a culture, not a, perhaps a culture heritage, but it is definitely something that, you know, big interest to lots of people. We, we, all, want, uh, we all wanted to, right, at some point, uh, to go to this place to uh, feel the magic of Disney World. And thus... Unfortunately, he is in 1966. He uh, died of a sickness, if I believe. But however, despite that, his legacy was already influenced by lots of people. We see that the influence of Disney has been found in all movies after those years of his passing. We uh, we uh, uh, what is it? Was given the movies that are uh, really um, impactful to us as perhaps Between the Beast, Head in Lion King, Toy Story, Cars, Frozen and actually much more that you know has the same goal as the uh, founder of the, of the uh, company itself Walt Disney is to make everyone happy. 
Now, last thing. I want to give a quote from the man himself. Can uh, I would like to ask someone to read? Oh, how did all of my suddenly gone? That's all right. Um, I would like uh, study Islamiati to uh, read this quote. <clears throat> would you kindly? All right, sir. Uh, we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down the paths. Walt Disney. Right. Thank you very much. So, I think this quote really was how uh, Walt, Disney, uh, Walt Disney's life. And let's study. Can you... Um, Show me uh, what you uh, show me about this quote that is how this quote uh, relates to Walt Disney uh, past life, or perhaps you have a new meanings about this quote. Can you tell me? Um, I think uh, uh, from the story of uh, Walt Disney's past life, uh, he always trying. Uh, he always do. Uh, I think uh, everything that he uh, that he done uh, based on his curiosity first, uh, and after that he uh, he have the uh, he he have a motivation. He have a brave to keep moving forward, as he said. Uh, because uh, I think at that time animation was something that are very rare, and uh, he uh, he wants to uh, he have a big intention to uh, to make his curiosity real, and yeah, and he get what he got now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can agree. Yes, as you can see, he was curious. Curiosity keeps leading him, leading him down to new paths. So from first he was going to be a cartoonist, but then suddenly he started to uh, curious about how and what happened if uh, you know sequence of images were like drawn sequentially and then were you know filmed. And thus, animation was born. And, it's, and as the study said, it was, uh, animation was very rare back then, that it was a spectacle for everyone. And also influenced and inspired many, many people that will also, uh, that want to go down to that same path as well. Improving from what, um, improving from the uh, visions, uh, from Walt Disney vision, to make a very uh, to make an entertainment that could cater towards all people and we see lots of new animation movie uh, today by uh, different companies that has the same intention as our as Walt Disney right I think uh, do you uh, okay everyone uh, do you feel that this uh, story that I tell was uh, very uh, interesting and motivational for you Right, because I believe so. Like, I guess that's for the, uh, what is it, what, what does the people call it back then? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, we're done for a break now. I think let's, let us get back to uh, material at hand because we need to finish this very quick. Uh, I talk too much. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, I would like to uh, ask you, uh, some of you, Maybe uh, one of you can answer this. Uh, have you ever feel like you lost your motivation in doing something? For example, uh, learning. Maybe uh, you you feel very unmotivated to go to my class, or maybe you uh, you are very uh, not intended to do 
the task from the teacher. Maybe uh, you you feel very unmotivated to doing everything. Anyone want to share the stories? Um, even. Yes, please. Um, I think the uh, assignment that the uh, other, uh, other teacher is given to us are getting uh, hard to finish. Yes. Um, and we, we lost our motivation to learn them. Okay, so you felt that some teacher maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, I am included in that, giving you very, uh, uh, giving you kind of uh, difficult tasks and you feel like not intended to finish it and you feel like that is so difficult and so, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you, uh, you don't feel like to finish it. So, uh, if that's happened to you, what things you do to uh, to bring back your motivation to make yourself uh, motivated again? Maybe what did you do? What things you do? And anyone? Um, may I? Yes, please. Uh, for me, I think the best way to motivate myself to me is by mm, gathering with my friends and then having a fun time with them. And also, to me personally, I play games that I feel like to play at the moment. I think so. Yes, uh, it's it depends on what do I feel at the moment. What that? What do I want? What what I want to do at the moment? Okay, that's all. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so for Jacket, he will uh go. Uh, hanging out maybe with uh with your friends, yeah. Uh, get a small talk, uh, small chats, uh, with uh coffee maybe with meals, or maybe uh, watching movies. You like it, yeah. Uh, or you uh you want to play games, uh, before you finish your works. Okay, so uh, that can bring back your uh, spirits, your motivation in doing uh, tasks. Anyone else want to share about the story or about uh, what thing uh, you usually do when you feel demotivated? Or maybe you can share uh, things that make you uh, lose your motivation as well. Other uh, Alis Rahma or Arif Barlaman, maybe. May I, ma'am? Yes, please, Alice. Uh, so what, uh, what I would do if I get demotivated is similar with Jagat, uh, which is uh talking with my friends, uh, asking for their opinion. Uh, so I would know which part that, which part from me that I can improve. Or also like uh, watching movie, listening to music, uh, that helps me to get back my motivation to do my tasks and do my homeworks. Uh, that's from me. Man. Okay, thank you, Alice, for sharing your uh, opinion. So basically, you all do uh, things that uh, you like, yeah? like uh, watching movies, uh, uh, listening to music, 
uh, everything that make you happy. So uh, that can be something that uh, build back, uh, bring back your motivation in uh, learning. So uh, for you all, uh, if you feel like uh, uh, if you feel like uh, that thing comes to you when you feel uh, not intended to finish all your uh, some or even all your tasks, maybe you feel like the task was so hard, you can uh, tell me if you uh, if you want to, you can share it with me. Uh, you can tell me what things that uh, bothering you, what things that make it uh, feel not easy. Uh, you can share it with me if you want to, or maybe uh, you can uh, tell me that uh, you in that phase, you feel demotivated at that time. Like, uh, ma'am, I'm feeling like I lost my motivation to uh, do the task, to learn with you, to go to the class, and maybe uh, we can find uh, we can find together what is uh, the the triggers of your demotivation. You can talk anything to me. So I think we can, uh, we can, uh, we can talk about it. So, so you will not feel uh, uneasy with that. And also, if you, uh, uh, if you start to feel like you don't have. Uh, motiv uh, enough motivation to do that. Uh, please uh, take some break. Uh, do uh, do things that you like, like uh, you want. Uh, like sorry, like you uh, said, as you said before, maybe watching movies or uh, playing games. But then uh, I hope that you can soon be. Uh, back into your, uh, into your, uh, into what, uh, into things that you should finish. Okay. 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 So uh, I think we can go back to our lesson now. So please open your book page uh, forty-five. Okay, students, um, I think that's quite a lot of material that you already received this day. So I'm going to invite you to play a fun game, a pretty fun game, I think. And let me show, show you my screen. Yes. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes, sir, we can yes, see. Sir. Okay, so this day, this time, we are going to play a game called Lie to Me. And here's the rule and how to play. So we all have to tell three things about our life. Uh, it can be like this. It can be your facts, maybe your brother, maybe how much brother did you get, did you have, and maybe where do you live, maybe uh, how much sibling do you have, and also it can be your story, your 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 life story, some fun facts about yourself. That's free for you to pick, and uh, you must pay attention to this these things here. So we should tell three things, and two of them should be true, and the last the, the one should be a lie. And the students have to find out which one is the lie. So uh, is that clear? Is the instruction clear? 
uh, so so we tell three things about our life and then other student guess which one is true or not yes sir uh yes so, so you you we should find the the anti uh, the lie one the lie one the the, the not true one so two of two of your facts should be true and one should be a lie should, or, or not true okay. okay let's just start the game starting from let's start it. please mention three things about your life uh, okay first I have two sisters and one brother. The second is uh, my sisters. Sorry, my sister uh, after me. So, so uh, I'm the first child, and uh, after me there is my sister, and we only have. Uh, almost two years gap like one year and uh, several months so we uh, uh, so in our uh, with our age gap we share many things uh, many things uh, many similar things like we discuss about about everything and the third is what is what is okay my youngest brother is an athlete a badminton athlete okay uh, that is three things from me okay guys that is three things about Lestari. So, which one is the lie? The, the untrue, the, the lie one. Uh, I think it is the second one. Mm, why so happy for them? I don't know, because uh, the story is so complicated, I think. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's hear from the study. So, is it true that the second one is a lie? No, the second one is the truth. <laughs> oh, 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 it's not. It is true then. Okay, any, any, anyone else want to guess? Is it the third? How about? No, the third one is the truth as well. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so yes, it, it it is basically answered. So yeah, I guess the first one is a lie. Yes, let's start. Yeah. Yes, I have one sister and two brothers. Not two sisters and one brother. <laughs> okay, so your your little brother is an athlete. Uh, yes. My youngest brother is an athlete. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, how 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 many years have uh, your your little brother been uh, an athlete? Oh, it's only uh, it it's it's only two years, I think. But uh, he's doing great. So yeah. Okay, is there any achievement that you already got? Sorry? Uh, how, is there any achievement that your little brother already got? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, he, 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 he done, oh, what we see. He joined several, uh, several tournaments, I think. And he, uh, he almost uh, be the representative of what what is it? 
por or porn maybe like uh, he he was he was in the selection in the what we call selection in English and uh, yeah but then he yeah, selection in this selection yeah but then he uh, the, he didn't get it but uh, he he sometimes win uh, sorry he sometimes won the tournament oh that's quite cool that's quite cool so yeah i guess we got to move on to the next student mm, i would like um Aris Suardi, please mention three things about your life. Um, so it should not be a basic one. Yes, sir. Like, do you, uh, do you think that mentioning an object that I have is basic? Mm, things that you have? Mm, I think not, not really a basic one. So yes, you may you may as as your mm. okay okay um all right I think that I can make the uh, live one but I'll try um so um I have uh, um I have um mouse that I always often use with them, my computer. But this, this this mouse in particular is very special to me, and because uh, this mouse was uh, given by uh, my father that was uh, passed away uh, a few months back, and it's uh, very special to me because it is a very small mouse, and I use it very often from from then until now. And I always use it very dearly. That's one of the first thing. And I think the second thing is that I often use uh, plastic bags to store my things. Uh, things such as perhaps uh, used boxes, food, uh, and all also as well so i can throw them into the garbage for the clothes of course because uh, the clothes i'll be uh well uh, go to a laundry surface in my uh, around my boarding house and i think the third one is that i have four jackets one the first one is the camel one this the first one is the, the one that looks like a camel the second one is uh, white um, white jacket and uh, it has like very thick material. The third one is sleeveless and the fourth one is very uh, the black jacket and that I uh, seldomly used but but it's my jacket nonetheless just that it's that's it, sir. Um, okay, that's quite a long description, Wes. Okay, let's start guessing then. So, which one is not true from the from Arif Suarte's facts? The third one. Okay, Arif Rahman, the third one, and the rest. The second, maybe? Hmm, the second one. Okay. Okay, Arif Suarte is, uh, yeah, we have to guess, to guess the surrounding. So, um, is that correct? Uh, I want to hear the study answer, sir. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, yes, the study? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> So uh, I have the uh, same answer with Alice. So the second, uh, your second thing is the light. 
Okay, that's all the answers. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on with your um, I think Arif Parlaman is correct, sir. Oh, the, th the third one, eh? The third one is the lie. The uh, second and uh, it says the first and the second is true. Okay. Uh, can you can you state it again? Your three three things. Yes, there there are three things. The first one is uh, my favorite mouse, that's given by my uh, best father, and the second is uh, my uh, not really habits, but you know, like daily. Like I always, uh, what is it? Put my dirty clothes in plastic bags, so I can, you know, bring it to the laundry surface or my boarding house, and also to, uh, you know, put all the garbage around my room in like one place, and then so I can, and then put it in the uh, garbage. What is it? The uh, garbage. Uh, what is it? The uh, black garbage round thing in front of my boarding house okay and the uh, last one is yes. the jacket yes yes Actually, jacket. i know it because sometimes i visit arif house arif <laughs> house. that is that is correct that is correct <laughs> okay i i got uh i got one question for you uh why mouse um, i think it's quite unique to me well, it's not really particularly unique because I cannot think of something else just now, so I just pick the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is all, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Nicely done, Arif Samarty. So we got to the next person, which is Alice Ram. Please take three things about your life. Okay, I will mention three related things that uh, it may be easy to check which one is the truth or the lie. So the first is I used to be in science major in high school and then I used uh, and back then I want to enter a mathematics major uh, in university but then my parent uh, told me to enroll for uh, for STEM okay uh, so that are the three things in my life so which one that you think is the truth and which one is the lie Okay, we can, we can start guessing now. Yes, yeah, someone? Wanna guess I think first? The first one is the lie. Okay, let's start. It says the first one. Okay, Arif Swarpi, Arif Arama, how about you? Um, uh, I want to uh, I want to confirm. Uh, the uh, mathematics major was the second one or the first one? The second. I'm um, sorry. Uh, can you repeat the first one and the third one as well? Uh, the first is I used to be. The first is I used to be in science major when in high school. The second is I want to go to mathematics major in university, and the third is my mother told me to try enrolling for STAN. The second one is is the lie. Okay, yeah, so this is the second one. And Arif Arama? Third one, I think. Third one, okay. Okay, Alice, you can reveal the not true. The, the, not, the statement which is not true. Okay, so who got the correct answer is Arif Suharti. Uh, yes, I used to be in science major, but uh, however, I don't like mathematics, so I used to to want to enroll for 
uh, biology, not mathematics. <laughs> oh. So, uh, your mother told <laughs> you that you should enroll to stand this. Yes. Oh. She asked me to try that while enrolling for university back then. Oh, okay. I yep. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I think. Um, so we move to the last person, which is Arif Barlama. Please go on. Uh, yes. The first thing that I remember is I like to draw. Many people. Uh, also like my drawing and the inspiration for for my hobby is my friend which also uh, now study in UM and the second one is uh, in my house there is a lot of of mosquito so i always carry on the mosquito rackets everywhere i go in my house uh, or even I, if i'm not bring my mosquito racket i ask i just have to clap my hand to find where the mosquito are and it's so annoying. Uh, and the third one is uh, I live with my mother and my mother. Uh, they always, always fulfill my needs. They are so nice because Every day, uh, I got money from them, and then I sometimes they also we also do some uh, my favorite things, my favorite food. That's all. Which one is my light? Mm, okay, uh, but you should you should pronounce by not with Arif sorry Arif Arama. Yes, thank you for the correction. I confused it before. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. So yes, we can start guessing now. So maybe from Alis Rahman, which one do you think is not true? The second, I think, sir. The second one, okay. Um, the study? Uh, for me, the lie is the first one. The first one, okay. Okay, Arif Swarbi, what is your answer? Um, what was the first one, uh, Hassan? So a lot of you answer the first one is a lie. Okay. No, 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 yes. no, 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 sir, no, sir. I, I asked. I huh? asked what was. I, I asked. Oh, what was the I'm sorry. First one. Yes, yes. Uh, what was the first one again, Hassan? The first one is. I have a hobby of drawing. A lot of people like my drawing. My friend also like it. Uh, and my inspiration of my hobby is my friend that also study in the same university as I. As me, do you mean? Okay. I think the lie is the third one, sir. Oh, okay. Kind of interesting it, answer. Then. Yes, the third one is the lie. Okay, let's go down to our falaman. So, which one is the lie, Arifan? Let me announce which one is the lie. Uh, actually, it's the third one. Uh, because uh, the truth is, 
uh, my father already died already died and my mother is nowhere to be found i don't know where she is because uh, since my childhood uh, she already live in the family that's all okay that's quite wow i don't know how to say i don't know what to say <laughs> to be honest oof that's quite a hard truth for me yeah let's see to that that okay so we have done the, the what is it the activity Oof. wait a second so yes we have done the activity and uh actually i have a purpose on this activity Can anybody guess what is my purpose of doing this activity? Is it to know more about our friends, sir? Yeah, well, that's quite easy to answer this. Right? Ah, so yes, that's right. I'm sorry, it's quite quite like maybe. So. Yes, the purpose is to know your friends better. And I want to imply to you all that having friends are important to us as a human being. And so why are having friends important? Actually, there are six points of having friends are important for us. So first one is... It is good for your physical health since having a lot of friends mean can bring us far from something that we call loneliness. And uh, since lonely, loneliness can bring us into some depression and finally it can affect our health and maybe we can get some health problems like diabetes and then heart attack and also stroke the worst case is stroke and the second one is encourage healthy behavior so yes uh by having friends uh we uh when we when we uh doing something that is quite problematic or maybe something bad uh, our friends can reprimand us ourselves can re 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 reprimand us about the good things that we should follow and also um, and also uh, they can be your friend to Maybe if you want to uh, tell a story to someone and you don't know who to find, who to who to, to who to tell tell it to, and then the third one is gives emotional support. And yes, uh, by your by telling your friend your story, right, uh, your friend can. Provide you some advice and then maybe cheer you up. So yes, that's uh, the uh, one of one of the form of giving emotional support. And the fourth one, the and the fourth one is help build your confidence. So yes, may yeah, some of us always have that feeling of self self doubt. And insecurities every now and then. Yeah, maybe every day you have insecurities on how do you see your friends. Maybe your, uh, especially the, the smart ones. And by having friends, you can uh, you can have that emotional support. And then by having that emotional support, we can will our confidence little by little and that is very important for our, our life 
And the fifth one is, is helps you beat stress. Yeah, it, this is still related to the, the, to the third, third point, which is gives emotional support. And by telling your friends your problems, maybe your struggles, uh, they, you can relieve some of your weight in your mind. And, and yeah, having friends can really lift your stress so that, so that your life, your, 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 maybe your mental state can be a little bit more better than before. And the last one, and push you to be your best. And uh, having a lot of friends, especially, uh, I'm sorry, uh, especially having smart, some smart friends can be, can be a double edged sword, to be honest. But if you look into the positive positivity of having smart friends, it can be your motivation. It can be your uh, what is it in Indonesian? Uh, uh, what is it? Ola mm. ukur for yourself to be to be a better person. So yes, that is six reasons why having friends is important. And yeah, I think that's all for me for this session and we can move on to the last part of our learning this day let's move on